Pancreatic cancer is one of cancer's deadliest forms. Last year, more than a quarter of a million people worldwide died from it. But a 16-year-old Maryland student has created a simple test that can detect the disease at its earliest stage. Now, this is a breakthrough that promises more effective diagnosis and treatment. And the name of the mastermind is Jack and Draca. And as VOA's Julie Tabo tells me, and Draca had to show great persistence just to be taken seriously. In the category of medicine and health sciences. Jack and Draca won the grand prize at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, the largest high school science competition in the world, held last year in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The top award winners. His excitement is understandable. The 16-year-old Maryland resident is the youngest ever recipient of the $75,000 award, beating out more than 1,500 students from 70 countries. Then what we would do is we would define S of N. He won the competition for his development of a simple and inexpensive test that provides early detection of pancreatic cancer. Julie Tabo, it was so fun to see how excited Jack was when the, he, it was announced that he won the award. Could he have done this, made this discovery, uh, if he was not in a lab, maybe, say, you know, at a lab at school, or did he have to have a sophisticated lab like at Johns Hopkins? I certainly think that by having a professional lab, like the, ones at, like the one at Johns Hopkins, uh, really brought his idea to fruition. I went on the internet and I found that 85% of all pancreatic cancers are diagnosed late, when someone has less than a 2% chance of survival. And I was thinking, that's not right. We should be able to do something. Jack Hendrika did do something. He went back online and learned that people with pancreatic cancer have elevated levels of a protein called mesothelin in their bloodstream. Borrowing a lab at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, he went on to develop a simple paper sensor that can detect the mesothelin in a single drop of blood or urine, signaling the presence of pancreatic cancer earlier than was possible with previous tests. Jack's test is 90% accurate. The sensor is 400 times more sensitive, 168 times faster, and over 26,000 times less expensive. It costs three cents per test, and then also it takes only five minutes to run. How much time did he end up spending in the lab over time? I mean, was this something he was just poured over day after day? I mean, how much time was he in he there? He spent a lot of time. He apparently, I spent some time with his mom. She was great. We um, talked about this, and she said that he would pretty much go straight from school to the lab and would spend hours and hours. And she said there were, I can't tell you how many nights I was in the car with a peanut butter sandwich waiting for him to come out at 2 in the morning to drive him home. Now, it's interesting because he sent out hundreds of emails, as you mentioned, to get a lab. Or yes, to, to get a lab and to get support, purpose. yes. He sent out to uh, National Institutes of Health and Johns Hopkins 200 researchers, and he had 199 no's, and some of those 199 responses included people actually saying, this is no good, this is, you're on the wrong track here. And so it made him even more motivated to say, no, 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 I'm not on the wrong track. Not only that, but I'm going to prove to you that I am on the right track. Just give me the opportunity. And Dr. Metro was the one out of the 200 who and, gave him that chance. And what was it that the doctor saw that he responded uh, to Jack? Dr. Metro basically was first intrigued by, first of all, how detailed and complex the information that Jack had sent him. I have to admit, initially, I was very surprised that this was a 15-year-old who was writing this. I wanted to meet this, this uh, obviously gifted young man and see what he wanted to talk about. And so I called him over for an interview. He's very impressive. In 2011, Dr. Maitre gave Jack a corner of his lab, where he worked for seven months completing his award-winning project. What I also liked about your report, it shows what his personality is like. He's a very energetic guy, but he also does, as you mentioned, public speaking. What's he talk about? It's amazing. At 15 years old, and now he's 16, he is invited overseas to go on many, many technology and engineering conferences. I won an international science competition. Jack speaks at technology conferences around the world, such as the prestigious TED Talks. He was invited by former President Bill Clinton to take part in last year's meeting of the Clinton Global Initiative. Jack's mentor, Dr. Maitra, isn't surprised by the fame this young man has already achieved. Jack and Draco is a name that you'll hear about in the next 10, 20 years. If he has done what he's done at 15, 
you know, who knows what he'll do when he's 25 or 35. Well, according to Dr. Maitra, it is going to be at least a decade before this is actually brought to market. Wow. They have to go through clinical test trials, as you can imagine, um, because the FDA has to approve it. So it has to go through a certain number of uh, stages before it's approved and for final consumption. All right, Julie Tab, a great story, very inspirational, a lot of fun to watch too. Thank you, he was a great guy.